Hi, Heather Berryhill here. Welcome back to my home kitchen. Today I have got a recipe that's perfect for summer. What do you think of when you think of summer? You think of barbecue, right? I'm going to show you how to make country style ribs in a browning bag in your oven. Super easy, super simple. Let's go. So here is the secret to great country style ribs in the oven. I just use a turkey size browning bag. So the first thing I like to do is take a little bit of flour and just put it inside of the bag. You don't need very much. This will just keep your food from sticking and just shake it up. So basically I have two onions that I want to start with and I'm just going to cut these in pretty thick slices and just put a layer on the bottom of the browning bag. So I've taken one package of the country style ribs out and these are really, really big. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them in half. So I've got all the ribs kind of laid out. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle them lightly with some salt. Don't use too much salt because you are going to use Worcestershire sauce and some liquid smoke and it's got quite a bit of salt in it also. Sprinkle them generously with some fresh cracked black pepper. So I'm just going to sprinkle with a little bit of garlic powder. Next up, I'm going to sprinkle with some celery seed. Now I'm going to flip them and do the other side. Now the next step is just to take your country style ribs and start placing them on top of the onion ringlets inside of your browning bag. So I'm just going to take that liquid smoke and just put it all around all the ribs. Next up, I'm just going to use some Worcestershire sauce on top of the ribs. You're just going to kind of sprinkle around, make sure a little bit permeates every single rib. The only thing left to do is to take those remaining onion ringlets and just put them all over the top. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of barbecue sauce in the bag while it's cooking the first time. And I'm going to use just some head country made right here in Oklahoma. So I decided to go ahead and plop this in a little bit of a deeper pan. I've got a lot of meat here and even though the bag is really going to hold everything inside, I just don't want to take any chances in my oven. And I just need to seal it up with the twisty tie that comes in your box. So this step is extremely important. You've got to poke a few holes in your bag so that it can vent. Okay, these have been going on 350 for about an hour and 15 minutes and I think they look great. They're bubbly. So after I took the ribs out of the browning bag, drained all the juice, here's what I'm left with. So I put them on a cookie sheet that's lined with some foil just so my cleanup is a little bit easier. And I'm going to take that Oklahoma grown head country. I'm using an apple habanero. They have many different varieties of barbecue sauce, but I haven't tried this one before, so I thought it sounded good. So I'm basically going to just cover every single rib. I'm going to put these in the oven on broil and I'm going to watch them really closely. I just want them to start to bubble. So I just want to show you how tender these come out of the oven. So there you have it. Country style ribs cooked in a browning bag in your oven ready in a snap. For more recipes like this, go to the research.com website or follow me on Instagram at just me, Heather B.